watching my channel I would love it if you would subscribe give me a thumbs up at the end if you like this video and also comment down in the comment section and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video so anyway for the month of September you guys we're going to do a fall themed video each week and I'm really excited about that because I have some really nice ones planned for us I thought about telling you what each week would be in advance but I think I just want to surprise you and let you see and um, be surprised when you see them. But for this week, I'm really excited because this is the week we get to kick it off and you guys are going to do a fall wreath with me and I'm really excited about that. But before we get to the fall wreath, I have two other DIY fall decor projects that I want to do with you and I hope it inspires you to do some um, for, your, for yourself, for your own home. This first one is a pumpkin vase. And all of the supplies that we're going to need for this pumpkin vase are just a styrofoam pumpkin. You can pick one up from Walmart or you can pick it up from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna need some stems, um, flower stems. You can pick whatever stems fit your decor, what the look that you're going for. You're gonna need um, a bow for it or any type of ribbon, or you don't have to use ribbon if you don't want to. We're also gonna use some um, miniature pumpkins to go inside of it just whatever kind of fall picks that you want to choose for this project and then um, and that's about all that we need some spray paint if you're going to change the color of your pumpkin or you don't have to um, I want it to change the color of this pumpkin because it was a little on the more of the yellowish side and I wanted it more white and so I spray painted this pumpkin but it I want to give it some color to make it look a little more realistic. The way it is now, you can't see the indentions of the pumpkin, and it just kind of looks like a white <laughs> lopsided ball. So I'm gonna add some color to it and um, and try and make liven it up just a little bit. All right, so let's uh, get to that. Okay guys, again, you'll need a pumpkin, You'll need chalk paint if you're going to paint your pumpkin. You'll need some greenery, some picks, and ribbon if you're gonna use ribbon. Okay, so to start with, I just have a little palette of paint here, and it's just, I didn't have brown, so I'm just gonna try and go with this goldish color, and then I have some black, and then I have some white. And so I'm gonna try just to liven this pumpkin up a little bit keep my fingers crossed that it turns out on this pumpkin the way it is in my head and we're going to get started and you guys can just follow along Okay guys, for this next DIY, we're gonna do a tiered tray. And it's really simple. The um, supplies that you would need for this are just two cake pans. Um, you need um, two candle holders, and then just your glue gun and this quick glue, this stuff, when it sets, it really sets. We use this along with the glue gun because you'll put little um, spaces of the quick glue and then in between those spaces you'll put your um, hot glue. The hot glue is going to help it secure right away while we're waiting for the quick glue to bond. But anyway, I'm going to get through this. I also have just a little tennis ball and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And then I have this little um, dessert glass thing and it's going to be the very top and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. But this is going to be really quick and simple. Like I said, these cake pans you can get if you have some old cake pans from home that you're not using 
or if you have, you can go to the Dollar Tree. These I got for 99 cent from the thrift store, so it doesn't matter. So the first thing that you're going to do is, I'm gonna take my pilot marker and I'm just going to, I've already painted them. I went off camera and painted them. And so now I'm going to just go through and I'm going to just do some distressing um, on them. So that's pretty simple. Let me bring you closer so you can see. Okay guys, for this project, you'll need two cake pans, two candle holders, your white chalk paint, your glue, glue gun, and your black marker for distressing. take my quick grip and I'm just gonna put little areas out of it This is going to really help it to set. And then I'm going to take my glue gun and go in between. Where is it at? And then I'm going to take my pan. I'm slightly smaller. And I'm just going to eyeball this to the center. Well, I'm going to do it like this. Look, that looks cute already. Okay guys, so this is really all there is to doing the tier tray. You would let everything dry. Normally I would let this sit overnight before I started styling it, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, set this up and I'm gonna style Hi guys, and now we're gonna get to the DIY project that I know that you've all been waiting for, and that is our fall wreath. And when I was looking for a wreath for us all to be able to do together, I was trying to find one that would be really neutral and really, really work for no matter what your fall decor colors or your style or whatever it is that you've chosen, I picked something that would work for us all. And so this is pretty basic with just the greenery um, that we're gonna put in it. And then of course your cream colored pumpkins and then what's going to make it specific to you is whatever color ribbon that you chose that's going to fit your household um, i do have three of these little miniature pumpkins left over from the tier tray that i may incorporate into mine and you can go back and add some things to yours too when we're when we are done with the basic one um, and i'm just going to insert our inspiration picture into the video so that you can see what direction we're going in and then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get started 
I would love, love, love to see what you guys come up with. You can um, comment in the um, comment section and let me know how you enjoy this DIY. If you can put a picture in there, that would be great. You can head over to my blog at prettylittlepleasures.net and you can also upload your pictures there so that I can see um, your wreaths that you did. And I'm just looking forward to hearing from you guys and seeing if you're doing it with us right now or if you're gonna do it a little later on, what colors you chose, what color ribbons you chose. And so anyway, I'm really excited. So let's get started. So you have your greenery. And um, for me, I just chose the small eucalyptus. I wanted to do lamb's ear, but Walmart was all out. So we're gonna start with your grapevine wreath. And you can use whatever size you want. It doesn't have to be this big. It can be something smaller. I ended up finding this at the thrift store. Um, I don't know where they're hiding these reeds right now. I just really couldn't tell you. But I did find this one at the thrift store and I hope you were able to find yours. If you weren't, then just follow along. And when you do get your hands on one, then you'll know exactly what to do. So we've got our greenery, greenery, we've got our pumpkins, we've got our ribbon, and then we've got our glue gun. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Now, if you don't have a glue gun, you can always get these pumpkins with picks, like this one, because they will just stick right into your wreath and you won't have to worry about gluing anything, anything down. So you're gonna start with your wreath and we're gonna start here towards the bottom. And I hope I've got this so that everybody can see. We're gonna start here towards the bottom. And you're just gonna take this greenery because it's only gonna be the one side. It's not that we're doing a wreath that covers the whole thing. It's just gonna be the one side. So you want all this fullness. So I'm just going to stick this in here like so. Now, if I was doing a little more advanced one, then I would take some floral wire and I would go through the back of here and then I would just, um, go down through my wreath and adhere it on the back so that this stays here. But we don't need to do that. Just stick your greenery down in there like this. And then we're gonna go with our next piece and we're gonna come up above it just a little bit, enough to slide it in. But we don't want, and we're too much of a gap, but just a little bit of a gap because we're gonna fill it in with pumpkins, okay? And then we're gonna take another one and you probably won't need more than three. And so we're gonna take this third one and we're gonna slide it in right there. And so right now, you should have something that looks like this, okay? Now, so we have, we have the basics of what our wreath is going to be like. If you find the back where it's sticking out, just bend it in like this and tuck it back in there, just like that. So just bend it in like this if you find your stem sticking out the back, just bend it and tuck it back in there. Okay, so we have the basics. I kid you not, this wreath will only take us a few minutes. Now, I did get some of this baby's breath um, just because I'm gonna go back, go back in and add some of this a little later on. They have this at Walmart and you can certainly, if you want to go and add some in yours as well, then you can certainly do that. And usually if you just go back and forth with it like this, then it, it'll pop off, it'll tear off. But I may have to get up and go get my scissors that I didn't bring in here with me. There we go, see, it comes off like that. And so then I'm just gonna go in and Keep adding. Now, if you got um, greenery and you got different kinds of greenery, then you just go in and put your greenery in, but what you're trying to do is put it in so that it's in a semi -circle. And you're like that. Okay, so now for the pumpkins. I'm gonna take one pumpkin and I'm going to put it up top, right here, just like that. So I'm gonna put my glue gut, my glue on here, give it a generous amount because I really want it to stick really well. And I'm gonna find a good flat spot on your wreath. 
to stick it on there. So make sure you find a good flat spot. Like I wouldn't want to try and glue it on top of one of the, we'll see. <laughs> Case in point, glue everywhere. Let's try that again. We're just gonna put a generous amount and you might even have to put some where you're gluing it. And then let's try to stick that down. I had it too close to one of, one of these, like I was telling you not to. I had it a little too close to one of those so it didn't adhere. So. All right, so that's the first pumpkin. The second pumpkin, I'm gonna look for a spot in between these two. Okay, and I think I've eyeballed me a spot right here. So I'm gonna get some glue, put another glue stick in there. And I'm gonna just repeat this. A good amount of glue on there. Gonna put some down here as well. Don't want it falling off. And I'm gonna stick it down. So now I have my second pumpkin, okay? Now, for this one, I actually want, so I've got one pumpkin here. I'm gonna actually add another pumpkin beside the one that I just put down. So I'm gonna add some more glue. I've already eyeballed my spot that I wanna put it in. So I'm gonna add some more glue. I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to nestle it right in there, just like that. And just kind of hold it a little bit. Okay, so I've got my one pumpkin and then in this little patch here, I have my two pumpkins, okay? And then, so let me show you, it's like that. And then, whoop, trying to make a getaway. And there, pumpkin. And then, I'm gonna take another pumpkin and in between these two, I'm gonna add a pumpkin as well. So I'm gonna eyeball my spot, put some glue there. And then I'm gonna put some glue on my pumpkin. And I'm gonna glue it down. Okay. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more glue in there to really make it stick. to he's wanting to not and this happens sometimes but he's gonna stick because I'm gonna make him One pumpkin, two pumpkins, and then your fourth pumpkin, and then your last pumpkin. You really could stop there because that's a lot of pumpkins. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna stop with that many pumpkins. And then I'm gonna just use some of my little ones. I have a lot of greenery down here at the bottom of mine, and I want to be able to put my bow. So if I put a pumpkin there, that gets in my way. So I'm not going to use my fifth pumpkin, but if you have room, then you go ahead and you use yours, okay? 
Instead, I'm going to use my little pumpkin. But like I said, if you have room, you go ahead and use yours. Oh. are being naughty because they don't want to stick. So we want it to look like a little pumpkin patch. So, I've got my pumpkins. I'm gonna get started with our ribbon. Now, I have two different ribbons because my, the, my Walmart only had one roll of this and it wasn't, it's a lot on a roll and it wasn't really that thick, so I just got two, but if you got one, that's just fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, you're gonna take your ribbon and you are going to, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut about what is this maybe eight or nine inches of it off so that you have a piece that looks like this all right and then you're going to take that piece and you're going to just cut it right down the middle and then you're going to set it aside so cut it down the middle you'll have two pieces i have four but you'll have two and then just set it aside all right then you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to leave out about seven or eight inches of it for the little tail. You're not going to, I mean, when I say leave it out, I mean, you're not going to fold over it there. I mean, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to fold over. Okay. actually going to leave this part out so we're going to fold it over here okay and then you're going to fold over flip it back over can you guys even see here let me there we go so let me start over so you can see I'm going to have this little piece here you're going to fold it over and make it even. Then you're going to flip your ribbon over and you're going to fold it over. Then you're going to flip it back over again and you're going to fold it. And you're going to keep doing this all the way down to the end of your ribbon. it over one more time and leave it like that because you're gonna and you could just go ahead and even that up okay and then you are going to take your ribbon and these two little pieces here I'm sure they're in you're gonna take this your ribbon and you're gonna just do a little snip don't go all the way up, just do a little snip. Let me show you close up. Do a little snip like that. And then do the other side the same way. Just a little snip. Don't go all the way, just a little snip like that. On that side 
and on that side. Then you're gonna take your piece of ribbon that you cut and you had, I know you guys can't see me, but it, this is the important part. You're gonna take it and you're gonna feed it through those little snips that you made, okay? So the snips you made on the two sides, you're gonna put your ribbon and then you're gonna tie it on the back like this. And then tie a knot so that it stays, okay? And then with this, you are going to bring your ribbon out like this on both sides. Just bring them out and I suggest this, if you have, well, you only have one ribbon, I have two, so just, I'm alternating so that I have buffalo check, black, black, buffalo check. Then I'm gonna have buffalo check, black, <laughs> and so on. But you just keep pulling yours out if you have all of one color ribbon. So then you have something that looks like your bow. And what you're gonna do, what you wanna do is, the reason that I told you to get wired is because then you're gonna go in and you're gonna shape it. And where it's flat, you're gonna open it up and make it nice and round, okay? So we're gonna do this all the way around. where you had your two little tails you actually if you had longer ribbon we could have had a longer tail hanging down from our wreath so probably what I will do is go on the hunt for either some more of this black mesh or more of this buffalo check and I will get a long piece that I will drape over my wreath and let it hang long but for now we're going to, you find this little edge here that you had left over, and guys, I should have had you do it. But anyways, you're gonna fold it over like this. This is the open side. You're gonna fold it over like this, and then you're gonna take your scissors and start from this bottom corner, well, from this open edge, and go up. I'm gonna get my wreath. And where I had my two little ends that I tied the bow together, I'm just gonna come here at the bottom of my wreath. Let me stand up so I can show you. And I'm gonna take my two little edges. Now you could also get some floral wire or you can take your glue gun and just glue your bow on, okay? If you think that you might wanna change it out sometime, then I recommend tying it because then you could untie it and then put another bow on after the fall season or whatever season but you're gonna tie it close to the to your flower so you don't see any stem you want to put it close to your flower and I'm just going to weed it up through there like so Let me bring it close so you can see what I did I just brought it up under one of my stems and then I'm going to tie it just like that and then when you tie it you go back and fluff your ribbon some more and that's it you guys so let me go hang it and let you get a better look at it and like I said guys I want to see how your <laughs> I want to see how yours turned out as well I'll hang it and then I'll be right back it for today's wreath DIY project I really enjoyed spending the day with you and doing that project and I hope you'll go and do um, one of the other projects we did either the tiered tray or the pumpkin vase 
I had a lot of fun today, guys. Again, if this is your first time coming to my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. I upload one video a week, usually on Friday evenings and up ready for you on Saturday mornings. You guys, don't forget to visit my blog. Comment down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. And you guys, I had a great time again. Be inspired, you guys. And remember, it's all the little things in life that give us the prettiest little pleasures. You guys be blessed and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Whip, 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 whip,